Hello all, welcome to another quick learning. Today we're going back to code signal to work on the Python coding exercises. If you're joining this in the middle of a playlist, I'll put a link in the description below so you can start from the beginning if you wish. Otherwise, I'm going to go ahead and get started. So I'm going to the arcade, I'm going to Python. And then we're on this section here, enter tools. Number 54, cracking password. So there's code. Uh, so let's go ahead and just start reading here. So you've been trying to crack the password from your friend's laptop just to prank him, malicious intent, but with no luck. However, it looks like you're finally up to something. You check the keyboard with a little detective game set and determine that the password consists of a limited set of digits. You've seen your friend typing the password quite a few times and are now sure that it consists of K digits. You also know that he is very superstitious and believes in the power of the number D. So the password is apt to be divisible by it. Given the digits that comprise Password, it's length K and the number D by which it is divisible, return a sorted list of strings that should be tried as passwords. All right, so you have this example. So you got a list of digits here and you know that the password has to be K length and it's going to be divisible by three. So given that, uh, 12, 15, 21, and 51 meet those criteria. Uh, so the other numbers, that come up are 11, uh, let's see, 55, 52, 25, but those aren't divisible by three. All right, so let's go to the code and see how this is done. So they give you this here. Uh, so you know that something from intertools is gonna be important in this code. And in this case, we're gonna use the product and I'll show you the differences between some of the different functions in the inner tools that does these sequences, uh, generates these sequences for you. Um, so we've got product, we've got permutations, we've got combinations, and you've got combinations with replacement. All right, so if you feed into one of these functions, this string of values, or in this case, it's gonna be a, so it's gonna be a list. It doesn't matter as long as you can iterate over it, uh, you can feed it into one of these functions. So, and for all these, we're saying that it's going to be two length that we need for the different sequences that it's going to generate. So the first one that is most restrictive is combinations. So in combinations, you're going to get, uh, so AB, you're going to get AC, you're going to get AD, BC, BD, and CD. Notice you're not going to get the ones that are sorted in a different order, like BA or uh, CA. So this is going to give you unique combinations for those two, but it does matter uh, what the order is. It's only going to give you A, B, A, C. It's not going to give you B, A, or C, A. Now, if we go to combinations with replacement, what replacement means is when you use a letter or an element of the list, it goes back into the list to be used again. So in this case, you can get AA, you can get BB, you can get CC, and you can get DD. Otherwise, it's the same as the combinations. Now, the permutations is different because you get all the different combinations, including the different ordering of those combinations. So you've got AB, you also have BA, you have AC, and you got CA, etc. So if you had a three, this was three instead of two, you would have ABC, you'd have ACB, you'd have CBA, et cetera, whereas with combinations, you would just have the ABC. And then product is, uh, so a superset of these, so it has all the kind of uh, features of all these combined. So you can see it's got the combinations with the replacement ones with the AA, the BB, the CC, et cetera. It also has a, B, and B, A, like you have in permutations. So it's basically these three lists all combined into the unique features here. Also, you might notice that it, if you did a nested for loop, this is the combination you would get. So in a nested for loop, you get A, A, then A, B, then A, C, then A, D, and then it would go to B, A, B, 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 C, B, D, etc. All right. So in this case, we want the product one because we want this type of behavior in our code. All right, so we got product, and then we have the cracking password. 
uh, function here, which has the digits and then the length k and what it needs to be divisible by in d. And then we have another function within that, that is create number. So you put in digs. And what digs is, is a list of, of different numbers. And what it's going to do, it's going to use the map function to go through all those numbers and convert those into strings. So let's, so if digs uh, gave us, so a list like, let's do the one, five, and two, or actually it's gonna give you a two list if k is two. So let's go with that. So let's say it's one, two that it's giving you. Then in the map function, what the map function is gonna do is it's gonna go convert those to string because that's the function that you've given it and it's going to apply those to each one of those elements. All right, so, and then outside of that, it's going to join those together. So join these individual elements together and you've given it an empty string. So how it's going to join those together is it's going to do it like this. If you would have put a space in here like this, then it would have joined it like this. Or if you join it, let's say with a comma, then it would join it like this. But since we're giving it the empty string, it's gonna join it like this. So the output of this function, if we inputted this list of one, two, would be the string one, two. All right, so that's what's gonna happen with that. So, and then in this, this is just sorting it. Um, and then we're doing a list comprehension here. So within that list comprehension, we have a for loop. So for each, we're gonna go through all these in this product. So we're gonna go through this digits list, and we're gonna say that it's gonna be K length. So K uh, for this example is two, so it's gonna do uh, combinations, or I'm sorry, products in this case. So sequences that are two, length, two in length. And we're doing an if statement here that's going to filter it only to, so we're going to first create those strings there from the list that is being generated from the product. And then we're going to convert that into an integer. So in this case, this integer would be converted to a 12 in this one. And then it's going to look at the modulus operator. So if you remember, the modulus operator looks at what is the remainder after it divides by some number, in this case, d. So if it divided by, uh, if d was 3 in this case, then what would the remainder be? If it divides evenly, then the remainder is 0, so you know it's divisible by that number. So this is going to filter to only things that are divisible by d. All right, so and then... Once it does that, it's just going to create the number to give you uh, this string like this as the output, and then it sorts that list. All right, let's delete all these extra things that I put on there. So if we go ahead and run that, you can see that that code works. And hopefully you guys were able to follow along with the logic that I've been showing you, and you'll join me for future videos. Thank you very much.